All right, good afternoon, everyone. We have the brand new 5 p.m. advisory from the National Parking Center regarding Erica. As far as intensity has concerned, well, the winds have been brought down a little bit to 40 instead of 45, still moving rather quickly to the west at 20. Right now, about 605 miles east of Antigua, and that is in the Lesser Antilles. As we take a look at the satellite imagery, I have highlighted it here for you, basically in the same spot that Danny was about a week ago. Now here's the official forecast cone and it has shifted a little more to the west in our direction by day number five. So here's the huge dome of high pressure still pushing Erica to the west, northwest. Could be uh, very close to Puerto Rico come Thursday. 60 mile per hour winds uh, could impact Hispaniola. And then it's going to try to find this little gap in the atmosphere between the jet stream and high pressure. And now they have it becoming a Category 1 system sometime on Sunday. But while the previous run was more over the Bahamas, and now it is leaning a little bit more to the west. It could be anywhere inside this red circle as a Category 1 come Sunday in South Florida. We have to be watching this one carefully because it could be knocking at our doorstep here uh, within the next few days. I'm going to show you a couple of model runs here. This is the MCWF forecast and basically it kind of keeps Erica very weak. Notice that we do not have any tight little lines here and it's going to leave a lot of rainfall in its wake continuing to get pushed along by high pressure and Friday again not showing a lot of intensification. That's good news as we move in through the weekend again going over the Bahamas and then in through Sunday some heavy rainfall expected here across our area as Erica nears South Florida and there's also a front nearby and that could bring us a lot of rain. Now this is our in-house model and it shows a much stronger Erica. You'll notice that we have all those little lines tightening up especially as they near Puerto Rico right around Thursday and Friday and then when it starts to move in across the southeastern Bahamas it looks like those little lines start to tighten up that's an indication of a system that's going to try to get stronger and they continue to tighten up as they move in through the northwestern Bahamas and there it is sitting right over the islands and uh, in the long run it could impact us just like you saw in the official forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center. So here's Erica. Those are the remnants of Danny still causing a lot of rainfall across Puerto Rico. Much needed rainfall today over that area. Meanwhile, for us, temperatures in the 80s and 90s, partly cloudy skies. We've seen the wind coming in out of the east, pushing all the rain to the west. Look at all this heavy rainfall over the Everglades with some lightning and gusty winds. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a grass fire due to all that lightning. So here's the marine forecast. Biscayne Bay smooth tonight uh, for you throughout the Florida Keys. Coastal waters with a light chop. For tonight, we are looking at the possibility of a shower here or there. Tomorrow, morning sun, afternoon thunderstorms. And here is your extended outlook. Again, we will be watching here in the long run for the possibility of some rain from Erica come Sunday and Monday. As you're 7 on 7, 7 News Bureau.